This fourth Sunday of Lent is known as Letare Sunday or Rejoice Sunday. This is because the entrance antiphon for this Sunday begins with the words Rejoice, O Jerusalem. And the message of today's readings gives us the reason for our rejoicing. It begins by reminding us of the ever-present tendency to sinfulness in our lives, a tendency that the humans have shown since time immemorial. In the first reading, we hear how this sinfulness manifested itself in the life of the people of Israel, as well as the negative consequences of this sinfulness for them. And St. Paul, in the second reading, explains the essence of this sinfulness as rebellion against God, the tendency to be self-centered and selfish instead of being God-centered. Against this background, the good news which gives us reason to rejoice is that our loving God is always reaching out to us to pull us out from the consequences of our sinfulness, to bring us to freedom and the fullness of life. In this regard, St. Paul reminds the Ephesian Christians of how it was still when we were still in sin that God reached out to us and brought us to life in Christ Jesus. And the Gospel simply proclaims God so loved the world that he sent his only Son so that he may have life through him. May this season of Lent and this Sunday be a time for us to open ourselves up to receive God's grace, a time to allow God to pull us out of our sinfulness and bring us to freedom and life. And may God bless all of us today.